Sluice was uh, the last remaining D model in the world. It has the distinction of uh, being in the first mass gaggle, coming out of Hamilton Field outside San Francisco, going over to Hickam and then on to Clark Field in the Philippines. It was out bombing the Japanese fleet. When you walk into our facility, uh, if you come in the center, probably the first piece of bell you'll see if somebody points it out to you, because it's not necessarily obvious, uh, is one of the wingtips. Because what happens on the bell and other airplanes is wherever that person happens to work, who's working on it, the part goes to their station. And so up towards the front, one of the guys that's doing the sheet metal work on that, that does some other work in that area, is also working on the wingtip for the bell. We're well along now on working on the bell. Titan IV uh, turned out to be one of our really heavy lifter missiles. It brought up many, at least, of the military satellites. We are now bringing the parts over out of the storage that we have down in the Quonset huts so that we can learn how to put it together between now and when the new hangar opens in uh, 2016. It goes virtually from the front of the hangar to almost to the back of the hangar. And uh, that's just part of it. And then the part that goes on top covers almost the same length again. And now we have the booster rockets. Uh, if you were to envision this tall missile and bolted to the sides of it are two additional rockets. Uh, they are solid core rockets. They will burn out in 140 seconds and when they burn out, they separate at 135 seconds. Wow is a very common term used by the people visiting here. They are truly impressed by some of the uh, work that's being done here, not just on the swoose or on the bell, but across the board. Uh, we have some very, very talented uh, full-time personnel here, of which 14 are technicians with uh, typically 25 to 40 years of experience. Uh, they also have some new young blood that came out of the intern programs for the uh, getting their airframe and power plant license and several of them have hired on and are learning the old skills because many of the skills used here are not in the books. The volunteers uh, run the gamut uh, from being very highly skilled machinists and sheet metal technicians or painters, electricians, down to guys that are engineers that are polishing airplane and sorting bolts. One of the good features here is that this is a free tour, as most things are in the museum. The behind-the-scenes tours started with uh, the Women's Spouses Club, used to be the Officers' Wives Club. If you want to go on a behind-the-scenes tour, uh, go to our website. You need to sign up uh, in advance. You need to print out a seat for each person 